Hey, how y'all doing? I haven't had a video up for a long time. But I wanted to put this one up here and it concerns uh, leaf springs. And this happens to be on an RV. And the company that I'm not going to name no names, but because the, there's a couple of them out there, but they've been having issues with leaf springs breaking. So I do know that this leaf spring is a... The set for per axle is 7,000 pounds. Uh, in reality, it should be an 8,000 pound spring for for the capacity of the trailer with what the, the, the things that you can put in it. But one way or another, in my search for some 8,000 pound springs, which I've found some, but I'm not exactly gonna put them on yet because I've done the I've done a little research and spent some time at a spring company and the guy at the spring company said yeah overloading them can definitely make them break but in reality if these u-bolts are tight the way that they're supposed to be tight that you should not get a spring break in here uh, that and that come right from a company that does a lot of springs medium light mostly heavy duty so what I've done here these springs are are only about six months old they were stall installed by the manufacturer now the torque spec is 90 foot pounds I have done I have done one uh, one spring so far all right the one that I did, one U-bolt was torqued properly, the other one was not. Let's see what this one's like. So, here we go. Here we go. Now remember, I'm set at 90 foot-pounds. And that's what the, the torque spec is. So, if you're going to go through and check these, that one clicked, but already at 90 so but you'll go back and forth on them if you get a lot of turns on them so but i'm going to do this i'm going to go through all of my springs and then we'll um carry on smartly But it's kind of crazy. Now, did they torque them the way that they were supposed to be torqued when they replaced these springs? I don't know. Did they come loose after being flexed down the road for a little bit? I don't know. Anyways, I'll get that torque wrench on there. I'm going to do the, the other two nuts on this U-bolt. And then I'm going to go to the forward axles and do the same thing. Um, for this particular RV, I have a Mo-Ride wet bolt system on it that you can see right in here. Um, I'm checking those as well. So far, those have all been good. The torque spec on those is 50 foot-pounds. Um, but those have been good. Axle U-bolts, not so much. So hopefully by doing these... Uh, the right torque, I'll get a little more life out of these springs until that I can get my, myself some 8,000 pound springs made. Uh, anyways, I hope you all have a great day and I hope that this helps you out. Um, it's something I think that, that uh, anything that you drive around a lot trailer wise uh, and you keep it loaded at fairly close to maximum, you should check this. So, you all have a great day. Hope this helped again. Please subscribe to the channel. And um, um, there's a lot of good content on there. A lot of different things. So, y'all have a good one. Bye.